Hi everybody, it's a fragrant jock here. Another honest opinion, or as honest as I can. Hope everybody's safe and well, being positive. Um, looks things are going good at the moment. I'm heading the right direction. Anyway, today's honest opinion is one that's been out since 2017, although it seems longer. There's so many reviews in this. Um, I've done a couple of reviews on uh, Dua fragrances with this in it. Uh, it was uh, inspired expressions of a couple of uh, fragrances that they put into one um, hybrids. Um, but today's honest opinion is, and it's just a decant because I've got quite a few decants. Uh, is Baccarat Rouge. 540 extract it really is a lovely scent this I've used quite a bit of it but mostly when the weather was a wee bit cooler because it is quite thick the extract is quite thick and cloying and very sweet Mason Francis Courtjohn um, created this in 2017 this is the extract you've also got the, the perfume version uh, this is obviously more potent, more oil in it, more concentrated. Um, some of the notes in this are bitter almond, saffron, Egyptian jasmine, cedar, musk, ambergris. Um, it's probably a lot more to it. Longevity, very long lasting. It's an extract. For me personally, on my skin, about 6 to 8 hours. Longevity, at least 2 hours. It really is quite long lasting. It's very sweet. When you first get this, I've got it on my skin now. It, it, I get the candy floss sweetness. Um, a bit of the bitter almond, but I don't get much else. A lot of people um, say they get other things. What I get is a, just the candy floss sweetness out it. It really is sweet. It really, it's a nice smell though. But I can see why people say. There's other people that say it smells like hospitals or it's got that hospital smell, like a sterilised kit kind of, or, I don't know, maybe an antiseptic kite kind of smell. And I, I can see where they're coming from when you, when you first blast it on, although you get the candy floss smell. There's something in the background as well. I don't know what it is, whether it's a mixture of oils. But it's not off-putting in my nose. It's actually a nice scent. It really is. It's got tons of reviews. Most of them are um, are really positive reviews. Um, this is probably his most popular one, I would say. Mason Francis Kirchhoff. Um A wee bit of history on him. Well, at age 15, uh, he had dreams to become a perfumer. He was born in 1969. In 1993, he created La Malle for John Paul Gaultier. And in 2019, he founded his own company with Mark Kyer. Um, and they set up, obviously, the Mason Francis Kirchhoff Company. Uh, obviously, he's a master perfumer. Um, but he's worked for numerous people. He's done a lot of stuff, Mason Francis Kirchhoff. For being born in 1969, he's worked for Eli Saab. He's done Mr. Burberry, Nina Ricci. He's worked for them. He's done a Jupe. Uh, he's worked for Armani, Guerlain, Versace, YSL. He really has done a lot. I think he's probably most famous for, obviously, he's, he's back at Rouge and things. But he, the one that sticks out in, in probably his history will be Lamal. Obviously, the original Lamal, he created it. And that is a masterpiece. Not the ones that are out now, the reformulated ones. The original. But it really is a nice scent. Um, I would say more for a cooler night or a cooler month, but you could get away with any time. And it's perfectly unisex. Probably some guys might think it's a wee bit feminine. For me, I think it's straight straight down the middle. It really is. It really is a lovely scent. Um, I know it's quite expensive. I think... To get the extract, even discounters, you're talking a couple of hundred pound. 
So what I would suggest, it's quite potent, the extract. I would go for a decant, shop around, look at the Facebook groups. If you're going on eBay, make sure you've got 100% feedback. You check the feedback, um, you know, because a lot of them can con you with that. So just be careful. I would get the smallest sample first and then see where you go for there. Um, it really is nice and it will last, but it is very, very sweet. It's very sweet, that's what you get, the, the, the almond, that saffron, jasmine, and the musk is there. And it's that sweet candy floss, really. Maybe some people would find it overbearing, but if you like that kind of gourmandy, candy floss, sweet smell, you'll love this. Okay, just a quick honest opinion. I hope everybody's safe and well. Bye for now.